time for Fisher Brad to show you how to put the reel in motion with the poles and the camera while recording fish approaching. Got the nickname growing up. It was chosen by the hometown folks when noticing his devotion. Traveling from small creek to the biggest ocean. He'll be catching every monster and feeling thrilled emotions. Whether it's summer or whenever water is frozen, he's always holding trophies up and getting vids posted. Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and in today's video I'm in British Columbia and I'll be targeting white sturgeon. In today's video, I'm using a Catch the Fever Extra Heavy Hellcat Fishing Rod, and I'm using a Shimano TLD 25 Fishing Reel. I have a 150 pound braid on this reel. To start this rig, you're going to want to use one big bead. Then I have a sliding barrel swivel right here. I got a 10 ounce pyramid weight. I'm running three other beads underneath that tied to a barrel swivel. I'm using a 150 pound Decron fishing line. I'm using ADOT Maruto hooks that are barbless for sturgeon. For the bait, I'm running two chunks of salmon and making sure that hook tip is fully exposed. I find the best way to keep the bait on is to magic thread the bait in place. You want to make sure your hook tip is always fully exposed. When I go to cast my line, I walk out about waist deep. You want to be very careful not to walk too far deep because the ledges can be very sudden and you can go really deep really fast. I then try to cast my bait as far out as possible. When it's casting out, I like to keep my thumb on the reel slightly. This will ensure that the line comes off smooth and you will not bird's nest. Once it hits the bottom, I then slowly walk back out with the lever pulled down. When you're walking out into the water and walking back, you want to make sure you walk very slowly so you don't trip and fall. If you trip and fall, you can easily get sand and other debris inside your reel. This will allow you to catch more fish per reel, which will save you lots of money in the long run. I then slowly put it on the rod holder, and you want to make sure you stay somewhat close by. Typically, when these sturgeon bite, they won't rip off your rod off the rod holder. Once you feel the sturgeon bite in your hands, you can go ahead and set the hook. When you go to order any Catch the Fever products, please use the link above to order. This will allow me to get 10% on my affiliate bonus. You can also use the 10% off discount code BDIER at checkout. This will allow you to save lots of money and get some great gear at the same time. You will also want to sign up for the Catch the Fever newsletter. That will allow you to know when the inventory is added so you can easily order. When you go to hook set, make sure you pull up very hard. I also highly recommend picking up a pair of Runkle Regul fishing gloves. These are very essential, especially when pulling out snags. Make sure to use the Runkle discount code RKZEAV7A at checkout to save some money on products.
I still in frame on that camera stand? Yes, you are. Okay? Oh yeah, let it go.
All right, guys, I want to say one last big thanks to Grady. He made my British Columbia trip awesome. He showed me his whole family, invited me to come out fishing with him, put me on some amazing fish. Couldn't have done it without him. Big shout out to him. Just thanks for being an awesome dude, man. You made my trip amazing. As always, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.